Hi guys, welcome to another video, okay, so let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is going to be about Python, okay, and Ubuntu. Uh, if you don't want to use Ubuntu or you, you, this doesn't interest you, you should uh, probably leave, okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. Uh, okay, so for people that are interested in this tutorial, you should stay, okay? So let's talk about a little bit of Python, okay? Python is an awesome language which you pretty much can do anything, okay? So I'm thinking uh, uh, a little bit of hair on the, uh, on the first, uh, on the next uh, weekends, or sorry, on the, first, on the next weeks, okay? So I'm trying to uh, learn about a little boy a little bit more about mobile applications. So I'm installing this uh, Framework which is Kiwi. Okay, I'm compiling a Project for Android a hello project for Android. Okay, so keep in mind that just this is just one of the capabilities of Python uh, Probably you can uh, create something that are very complex with Kiwi in Python but I think for most apps or for for simple applications for Android, this can be very useful. But this is just a disclaimer. One of the things that Python can do for you, okay? Or what it can do with Python. Uh, so this is Ubuntu, okay? This is a, an operating system, if you're not familiar with. I'm going to open the terminal. So, uh, here's the terminal, okay, this is the terminal, we can do a lot of things with this. Uh, we can... Python comes uh, with Ubuntu, okay, if you type Python right here, we can see the version, Python 2.7, okay, this is the last uh, updated, uh, last time that it was updated, okay. So Python can do a lot of things, as I said before. Uh, this is Python 3. This version that I have in my system is the version 3.5.2, okay? Uh, so this is Python. This is the Python interp interpreter, okay? So you can create something like here, like print function hello world, okay? So this is a simple, uh, simple printing function on the terminal uh, what should I say I'm kind of lost right now okay so Python is a great language for creating servers it is not the fastest language for do that but certainly is the f I mean in, in when it comes to speed Python is not the fastest language uh, so you would get the fastest uh, project with Python, but you probably will finish much faster, much faster than by creating another language because in Python you actually write less code. Okay, so Python don't have color brackets. That is a great thing. Uh, Python is very, uh, very intuitive. Okay, you can write it up. Python project or a Python script or a Python program that is very easy to understand and fix bugs. So that is a good thing. Uh, I think Python is great. Uh, is great and it is even is it is even great with uh, Ubuntu or Linux distributions because we have all the power that this Linux. Uh, uh, this, this Linux operating system have okay. So Linux, I, I mean Linux is just a kernel, and there are Linux distributions. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu, okay. So, but that's uh, that's not uh, related to the video. So uh, let's talk a little about about Python. So we want to write a server in, on Python, okay. So we can write a server servers okay or server apis to consume on our uh, final project or final or like let just me say this our 
client okay it is our client okay I'm struggling to speak right now because I'm kind of a little bit tired okay so no worry yeah uh, never mind by the way uh, so okay let's talk about a little bit of uh, the tools that you can use to write uh, this code uh, so Windows you should install Python with pip okay pp is very easy to install on uh, Ubuntu I I I have a video right uh, on this channel on how to install pip okay I've talked a little about I talked a little about about Python on this channel but there are not mo many videos uh, about that topic about this topic okay so to install pip right here on the, uh, right here on the system is various you just type python let me just say python 3 pip okay and we run this is going to ask me me by my by, for my password and we type that and okay so this is basically what you need to do to instead pip okay and so when you do that you actually have a Python index package which uh, allows you or give you access to a functionality to install uh, Python libraries via uh, comments okay so it's very easy to install packages on your system and this is very interesting because with C sharp you probably need to uh, add references on your project and that's going to take or it's going to consume or use uh, memory okay uh, so every time that you create a project and you add a, a reference to some some framework that is going to use a little bit of your disk space but with Python is a little bit different and I'm going to show you why is it okay I don't like to use virt virtual environments because they use a lot of uh, disks uh, disk space okay so this is the system okay this is the folder I have this folder U USR which is stands for user okay and right here we have a lot of folders most of them uh, does not interest us but we're going to look at the Python so right here I have some objects okay some objects as you can see we have lib box phoenix because I don't know if you know box phoenix but, but box phoenix is a speech recognition API or library okay it's a speech recognition library which is awesome I'm trying to make or trying to train a custom model for my first language which is Portuguese but that's not come that's not the case okay so right here we have some objects there I, I don't think they don't they don't matter that much to this video but let's look let's take a look on this folder okay this package so this is all the packages that I have installed on my computer so far okay and whoosh okay which is a full text search engine uh let me see wikipedia which is awesome you are url lib free or free i don't know how to speak uh, to speak that word text blob space speech recognition speech recognition cynic space sql alchemy sql alchemy spacey as i said before because i think that is the models okay this is a uh, a natural language processing uh, library I think Spacey is going to be the, f uh, the best uh, the best natural language processing toolkit in the next years it is almost the best toolkit but it requires your computer to have a lot of resources okay so it consumes a lot of resources to run it requires almost one giga uh, of one gigabytes to one gigabytes of memory run to load the English model, okay? But I think it is, it is going to be one of the best natural language processing toolkits in the next years, okay? 
So we will have requests uh, PTTS PTTX3 a uh, free I don't know how to say that word Pimongo uh, Pigments Pygame okay or Pigam Pox Phoenix this is the uh, the actual library okay and now TK Kiv okay uh, there are a lot of Gensi which is awesome for modern for working with word to vectors but that we are going to talk a little bit in the future okay Google which is a search engine library okay which is search on Google flask which is a micro framework for creating web applications okay which probably I'm gonna use this uh, library for creating our server okay so keep in mind that you should know a little bit of uh, Python to follow my tutorial, okay, or to follow my future future tutorials on this project. So we have, uh, if you want to create this project to to use it on Ubuntu systems, it's very easy because we have this uh, awesome operating system which is Ubuntu, and we have this a uh, lot of resources. To do that, okay. So this is a uh, libraries that I have installed on this computer. There, there's not too much libraries by now because I've been I installed this uh, system uh, a few weeks ago, okay. So we have a lot of libraries. So Ubuntu is very, uh, how can I say that Ubuntu is very smart on the way that they 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 use. Uh, uh, shared libraries okay so Ubuntu takes advantage of that uh, as you can see right here I'm running this uh, operating system on a computer which has only two gigabytes of run okay uh, that is not that much but actually is uh, enough for our purposes okay um, what should I talk? What I should have talked right now? Let me see. Okay, so this library probably we need to talk uh, a lot about this library. Okay, this library I think is going to be the gotcha of the entire project that I want to make it or I want to make it. Okay, uh, let me see. This library is a full text search engine. Uh, there is another library. Let me think. I think I've been talking to that. Okay. Uh, by the way, we there are some things that you need to do, which requires Ubuntu. Okay. So unfortunately, if you are using Windows, you probably uh, is going to have troubles trying to follow them. Okay. Uh, but probably, uh, I would say, which is very likely, that I'm going to use Ubuntu for the most part of the work on the server side, okay? On the server side, which is uh, li like the, the actual project, I'm going to do on Ubuntu because it's faster, it is uh, easier. To fix bugs, okay. It has uh, more resources, okay. Uh, by the way, I think that's good. This video is, is good enough, okay. On the next videos, I'm going to show you how to uh, other things that you can use in order to make that project, okay. And even more, I can show you uh, another ways to make the project because I want I want to make it. In some way, and probably you want to do in another way. Okay, so uh, that was the video. I hope you like it. See you later. See you next videos.